What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going through a couple of fixes that you can implement if Discord is randomly crashing for you. This could of course be on startup, while using it, turning on a camera, etc, etc. This video will cover multiple fixes that should get you going places quickly. So first of all, before we even hop into anything, make sure that your graphics card drivers and windows are up to date. Otherwise, going through more steps could be pointless. After you've updated both of those and restarted your PC, if you're still having issues, then continue with this tutorial. Of course, this video is not going to cover mobile. It's only going to cover the PC version of Discord. So do keep that in mind. First of all, if you're having an issue with Discord anywhere at any time, the easiest thing that you can do is a clean reinstall. The only real thing that you'll lose is current settings in the app, such as hotkeys that you press, push to talk, push to mute, and a couple of other settings. A clean reinstall is probably the best place to start when fixing Discord issues that are completely unexplained and you're having issues with. So that's exactly what I'm going to start this video with, even though it might seem like the most dramatic. Usually reinstalling a program takes a really long time, but discords a couple hundred megs at most, so it's really quick and easy to do. To begin, simply head across to discord.com slash download, and then simply download the installer. The installer is only about 65 megs, as you can see over here. So over here, I've simply installed Discord on the Windows Sandbox, just so I can more easily show you what's going on. Basically, all you have to do is simply close out of Discord. Don't worry about closing it completely, as uninstalling it will, of course, close it completely. Hit Start, head into the Settings menu, then into Apps, and locate Discord. Click on it, and then click Uninstall, and uninstall once again. Now, of course, you won't see any prompt. You'll know that it's successfully uninstalled when it vanishes from this list. You may want to go back out of this menu and back into it if it doesn't seem to be updating at all. Anyways, once it has disappeared from this list, you'll notice that you can still launch it. And upon relaunching it, it'll simply re-download the program. But that's not what we're going to do here. We're going to do a clean reinstall. So in order to clean reinstall, we need to get rid of the data that's still on our computer. Simply hold start and press R. This will bring up the run dialog box. Inside of here, type in percentage, app data, percentage, and hit enter. After this new window opens up, you'll see a Discord folder. This Discord folder inside of app data roaming contains most of the Discord cached files. And this is where your login will be stored, cached pictures, etc, etc. What we're going to do is select the Discord folder and delete it. It's about 163 megs for a clean install, as you saw there. Let's head back a folder into the app data folder here and then into local. Inside of local, you'll see another Discord folder. This one here has the actual updater that's launched when you double click on the Discord icon on your desktop. Now, it's not usually necessary to delete this folder, but it's something that I do just to make sure it's properly clean and installed. So I'll delete the Discord folder here too. After I've deleted both of those folders, Discord is now fully uninstalled. And if I run the shortcut on my desktop, you'll see it doesn't work. That's fine, we can leave the shortcut here. All we're going to do is reinstall Discord with the install we downloaded earlier. After it downloads all of the updates, we'll be dropped back into the application. Just make sure to sign in and then immediately head across into user settings as you'll notice that your key bindings are gone, as well as some other local settings that are stored on your computer rather than your account. It's a bit annoying, but for me, it's probably about eight checkboxes that I have to do and I do it once in a while. With that out of the way, you probably should have the crashes resolved. But if you don't, there could be something more serious afoot. We have a couple of other fixes that we can try and follow that should fix any other issues. So I'll go ahead and fire up Discord. After Discord is fired up, head into your user settings in the bottom left, then under app settings, click on advanced. Then simply turn on or off hardware acceleration, depending on what you have it as. If it's currently turned on for you, try turning it off as it should use more of your CPU rather than your GPU and could help prevent crashing if there's an issue with your graphics card or graphics card driver compatibility. Turning this off will make the program use more CPU and less GPU. On top of this, if you're crashing when you turn on a camera, etc, etc, what we can do is head into voice and video. And then on this menu, simply scroll down, make sure you have the correct camera selected. If any, scroll down further. And something I like to do is disable these options over here, such as noise suppression, echo cancellation, noise reduction, and automatic gain control. But of course, this is really up to user preference. I find a bit of a performance impact when I have these on and an impact on my sound. So I would assume that they could have something to do with crashing on your computer as they do have some sort of effect on performance. But of course, these will probably have the least change out of anything. The things that will have the most change will be the ones right under video codec, the Open H.264 video codec provided by Cisco and the H.264 hardware acceleration here. 
Turning these two off will once again use more of your CPU rather than your GPU and could help assist in stopping crashing. If we scroll down even further, you'll see audio subsystem. And here you can change it from standard to legacy, which as far as I know doesn't have too much of an impact, it just changes how the audio comes through from Discord onto your computer. As soon as you switch this to legacy from standard, you may notice that your crashing disappears, but it is recommended to leave it on standard if this isn't causing any issues. On top of this, if you're crashing while sharing your screen, there's another two options down here. Use our latest technology to capture your screen and use an experimental method to capture audio from applications. With both of these on over here, it could result in crashing when you're trying to go live when you're streaming certain games with certain anti-cheats. And of course, if you're still having issues after all of this, what else can you try? Well, another super simple thing that we can try is downloading the Discord public test version. This one's a bit odd to get to. You'll have to Google search for download Discord PTB and you'll see a discordapp.com link up here. It says discordapp.com API download PTB. If we click on this, it'll immediately start downloading an EXE file. This is basically another copy of Discord, but it's the PTB public test build client. It comes with a whole bunch of new features and of course could have better performance on your computer or at least have more stability. Even though it is a test version, I have found that when I'm having issues with the normal Discord, this one usually works fine. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found your solution in it. Otherwise, if you find your solution elsewhere, make sure to leave your issue and your solution down in the comments below to help anyone else that could be experiencing something similar. But anyways, that's about it for this video. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.